Hey, hey. What do you think? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Here, you look very cheerful. What's the matter? The cancelled revolution again? Uh, no, I was uh, wondering if you could uh, help me. Yeah, but of course I can help you, but that's what I'm here from. You're just a landlord, you know. I'm a friend and council. Yes, come on, what's your little problem, love? Well, well, um, it's a bit delicate. It's not bedwetting, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, delicate. I know you've been having thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. What? Yes. yes, all right, don't worry about it. It's all part of growing up. You're going through a difficult time, I know. Saps rising, mysterious changes taking place in the body, sudden lack of interest in football. Well, I've never been interested in football. Um, it's always been karate or kung fu or something else in the land of the bandy legs with you, hasn't it? Yes. Yes, still, you've suddenly become aware of the opposite sex, yes? What, yeah? Yes, and you've no doubt noticed they can't throw a cricket ball as well as we do, and you've wondered why. <laughs> No, 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 this has got nothing to do with women. Well, well, not directly. It's not that prickly heat again, is it? No, it's not. If you're going to be like this, no, 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 come on, come on, sit down, come on. You know, you know you can talk to me. Come on, sit down. You sit there and I'll just uh, relax on the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, what, what is it, then? I want to borrow some money. Do you what? <laughs> Borrow some money. Shall we say five pounds? You can say what you like. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> what, you mean you won't help me? Le le not, not, not a question of helping you. Just listen, let, let me give you a bit of advice. Neither a lender nor a borrower be. See, if I was to lend you money, what would happen? Friendship would fly straight out of the window. What friendship? If you were a friend, you'd lend me the money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, talking about friendship, what about your mate upstairs? He's not exactly short, is he? Sure, he could run to a few bags of salt on an elephant's tusk. <laughs> Ask Philip, I borrowed off him last week. Uh, you see, that's the trouble. You see, you're too improvident. You spend too much on baubles, bangles, and bloody beads. That's your trouble. <laughs> well, I put all my money in that gas meter just to keep warm. I sometimes wonder if there's a roof on this house. Have you thought of central heating? Central heating? Are you mad? Price of fuel today? No, thank you. Well, I suppose you're hanging on for solar energy. Oh, man. <laughs> you make do with that gas fire upstairs, mate. Eh, listen, listen, before the North Sea yielded up its riches, we had to make do with a pile of nutty slack. <laughs> and even that was scarce in wartime, you know. Oh, yeah, she had to share a fire with a friend. <laughs> Did you find one? Oh, very good. Yes. Don't you worry, I've got plenty of friends, mate. You haven't got any friends, Briggs, but you know why? Cos you're a miser. No, I am not a miser. Well, why do you collect all the little bits of soap and stick them to the new bars? And why do you always <laughs> jump up and down on the toothpaste tube? That, 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 that's, not, that's not being a miser, that's different. I'm just conserving the world's energy, that's all. <laughs> oh, you can laugh. It is five minutes to midnight. This is Spaceship Earth. You're too wasteful. Look, I could, I could live on the contents of your dustbin. Well, you only have to come up and ask. <laughs> You throw crust away, that's thick. Look, I can't eat bread if it's stale, can I? <coughs> Make bread and butter pudding with it. <laughs> don't like bread and butter pudding. That's, that's not the point. It's not a question of bread and butter. You're too wasteful. I've told you before. But what have you done to raise the money? Eh? I've taken all the lemonade bottles back, sir. <laughs> have you thought of a job? What? Oh, uh, God, you've gone ash of... Listen, I'm studying medicine, mate. That's a full-time occupation. I can't help it if I'm a victim of inflation. Y you're a victim of inflation? What about me? I was hoping to retire one day. Perhaps to Bournemouth, get a bit of sun, dip me feet in the Gulf Stream. <laughs> you all have to put pay to that. I know what I shall end up, in the public libraries, clinging to the radiators. <laughs> and trotting down the supermarket with a wheelbarrow full of pound notes. Well, oh, you're not doing so bad, Rigsby. Look at all this furniture you've got. Now, that's the reward for thrift, that, mate. Years of bread and butter pudding, that is. <laughs> I'm entitled to a few good things in life, and get off that, you'll spoil the nap. You know, I was wasting your time. I can't break the habits of a lifetime. Here, here, come in, come in. I'm not a hard man. Come in, I'll tell you what. Here, here. Do you hear that? There's some money down there. If you can get your hand in, you can have it. I'm not stupid, that one. <laughs> Sounds like a couple of 50p's to me. <laughs> oh, well, if it's 50p. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Hello, Brent. What's he doing? Oh, he usually sits like that. He finds it more comfortable. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Yes, well, you won't have any more trouble with that, Rigsby. Um, beautifully uh, s sprung. Um, uh, uh, if you have any more trouble, just uh, give me a shout. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, this the new furniture, uh, then? Yes, yes, I wanted you to see it, uh, Brenda, because I know you've got an artistic nature. Well, uh, what, what, do you, what do you think? Here, come uh, uh, Functional, with just a hint of luxury. Uh, skillfully fashioned by the craftsman of Evesham. What do you do with that? Uh, you're sitting out, yes. That, uh, it moulds to the contours of your, of your, of your body. <laughs> a lot of money. Oh, well, that's what money's for, Brenda, yes. I've always believed in it. <laughs> yes, I've always believed in the good things of life. Yes, I've never been frightened to spend, yes. Look at that drinks trolley, look at that. See the way it glides, look at that. Yeah. Yes, it'll be very useful, that, when I want to sip a martini in the bath. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. When you've been standing in front of a paraffin stove all day with nothing on, this is luxury. Yes, I suppose it must be, yeah. Yeah, have a great... <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Yes, I've always indulged myself, Brenda. I think life should have a bit of style, don't you? I want you can spit the pips in the ashtray. <laughs> yes, I must have elegance about me, you know. Oh, is that your cat? Hmm? Isn't he nice? Is he? Mm. Must get after him with the powder. He's been scratching himself silly all day. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you like the furniture, Brenda. Perhaps you can uh, come down one evening. We can what have for? A... Well, have, 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 have a bit of a chat about art. I do a bit, as you know. Oh, don't talk to me about art. I stand there for hours, stark naked, and by the time they've finished, I've got two eyes on the side of me head, an hole in the middle, and legs like matchsticks. Mm. <laughs> do you see me like that? Uh, uh no. <laughs> see you quite differently, love. Uh, perhaps we could go out one evening. For dinner? Uh, uh, no. Thanks, no. I'd love to. Uh, you go tonight, I'm free tonight. Well, yeah, uh, you, uh, oh, uh, yes, it's been ages since I had a slap-up uh, meal. We can go to a really flash place, you know, have Dover Soul and great fat juicy steaks and a real go at the sweet jolly. Uh, Dover um, you, you, you eat much then, do you? Not a horse. I thought you models got by with just a bit of grapefruit and a slice of toast. Oh, I don't. I eat meat. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. I bet you know some nice places. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, go and see what I've got to wear. Better be my best dress yes, with a big spender like you. Don't go too far. Oh, I am you know, glad you're not mean. No. I can't bear mean men. You know, the sort that squeeze the toothpaste tubes right up and carry their money in a purse. Right. <laughs> well, see you later. Yes, right. My mouth's watering oh. already. Go on, go on. <laughs> Give me five pounds till next week, could you? Not again. What's it for this time? I want to take Brenda out. No, definitely not. Oh, why not? Listen, Alan, I've told you she's not your type. Brenda's been around. She likes a good time. You couldn't keep pace with her. I could try. Uh, no, Alan. It wouldn't be good for you. Brenda's for the more experienced man. You know, you can be really irritating sometimes, you can. How am I supposed to get experience if you carry on like this? You say, come on in, the water's lovely. And just when I'm about to take the plunge, you stop me. <laughs> I don't mind you taking the plunge. I just don't think you're ready to swim the channel. <laughs> Look, what would happen if you did get off with her? How would you get your work done? You imagine it. You get your books out at night. There's a knock on the door. Brenda's standing there in her negligee. She beckons to you seductively. No, oh, go on. <laughs> you see, you're distracted already. You don't want that sort of thing. Don't I? It would be another night wasted. You speak for yourself. I was talking about your education. Yeah, well, so was I. Look, I know she's been around, but she's not after me money. Good, because she's not getting any. <laughs> you know, where women are concerned, you can really be a bit of a big egg. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh, hello, was this an acrimonious dispute? Is this an example of the white backlash? No, it isn't. <laughs> you can both keep your money. I wouldn't take it off you now if you begged me. Oh, on the scrounge again, is he? Look, I don't mind lending you the money, but not to spend on Brenda. Oh, so that's it. I thought it wasn't for textbooks. Yes, well, you keep right away from her. She's too rich for your blood. She's a model, you know, girl about town. So what? I told him a girl like that can bleed you white. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, you've got a definite advantage there, haven't you? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, I mean, you've, you've got, got, uh, got, got more money than he has. You know. <laughs> anyway, she's not your type. You know, you couldn't very well take her home, could you? I don't see why not. She never does a top button up. <laughs> when you walk in with a girl like that, your father will jump straight out of his carpet slippers. <laughs> what about your mother? She couldn't introduce her to the knitting circle, could she? What, just because she poses in the nude? Oh, yes, but suppose you married her, eh? Just imagine, it's all those hot little eyes staring at her over the easels, their most intimate details displayed on ten-foot posters for little boys to draw moustaches on. <laughs> I'm not listening to any more of this. The reason why you won't lend me any money is because you're mean. I am not mean. Hey, you've got a money spider on you. Well, Clef, well, don't touch it. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mean. I, 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 I don't know why he says things like that to me. I'm not mean, Philip. Neither am I. Yeah, you no need to tell me that. Did you, did you notice not just now when I mentioned uh, his mother and my voice went sort of husky? No? Oh, yes, yes, it did. Quite a little tremor, yes. It's made me think of my own mother, you know. Lovely dark hair she used to have. White as snow now. She was sitting in front of the black lead grate, her gnarled old hands clasped on her lap, staring at the motto over the fireplace. A boy's best friend is his mother, waiting for the knock that never comes. Always been too busy, Phil. Never realised, you know, how much time she spent scrubbing floors for me, you know, taking in washing. You should go and see her. Of course I should. <laughs> I thought I might go tonight, you know. Give her a surprise, take a few presents. Then why don't you? Pride, I suppose. No, no, no. No money. <laughs> Always told her what well, I've been doing. In me letters. Um, 
Oh, look, Griggs, have you got this help? I, oh, no, no, Phil, no, thank you very much. Very, very kind of you, Lord, but no, 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 no. Very grateful, but, but no. All right. Well, if you insist. <laughs> there you are. What about this thing, Rigsby? Uh, uh, Think this will do for tonight? Yes, that's, that's fine. Uh, oh, uh, 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 See you later, then. Uh, yes, that's right, right, uh, <laughs> So, that's the white-haired old lady, is it? I should have made it better. Look, why did I fall for a story look, like look, that? Look, I couldn't tell you the real reason, couldn't I? Look, I mean, not after what you said to Alan. What am I going to do? She's expecting an expensive evening out. You'll have to do what you normally do. What's that? Empty your piggy bank. Oh, very funny. <laughs> I can't take her out with the underwear to cup it in my pockets, can I? <laughs> Play out with the linings. Anyway, suppose she sits on my lap or cut her to ribbons. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yes, what do you want? I'm from the gas bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the gas bowl. I'm from the gas bowl, that's right. Is, is, it, uh, is it a leak? Uh, no, no. Um, I, I don't quite know how to put this, but I've come to cut off your supply. <laughs> you what? I've, I've come to disconnect you. You can't do that. I've got to. Why? You haven't paid your bill for three quarters. Well, there's no need to na get nasty, is there? I'm not being nasty. I've got a job to do. It's my duty. Oh, 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 du oh duty. That old excuse. Yes. Oh, duty. It's just like the Gestapo. They were only doing their duty. I'm not like the Gestapo. You're coming here late at night, making threats in a pig's cap, saying off like the Gestapo. My God, now I look at you. There's a spitting image of Himmler, you are. I'm, I'm nothing like Himmler. He wore glasses. I don't like doing this. Well, don't do it, then. I've got to. You're asking for trouble. Do you want me to, do you want me to write to my MP? I shouldn't. Why not? We cut him off last week. <laughs> I've got a lot of, it, lot of influential friends in. I've got an African chief living upstairs. Feels the cold, something dreadful. You start putting his gas off, it could be a diplomatic incident. You'd probably be on the next plane back home, start turfing out the missionaries. Well, I'm sorry. You're sorry. What about my tenants, eh? They'd be cooking the suppers. They're going to be sorry too when the beans start to coagulate. <laughs> oh, plastic. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, you hard hearted, my. Well, I suppose there's nothing I can do to stop you. I'll take money. Look, I haven't got two. two, two uh... <laughs> To eight this rub together, I wouldn't mind. Only it, 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 it's, it's never warm here at night now. I mean, what with the shrapnel and having no pension, and it gets so freezing cold in here at night. I know, it was bitter last night. There was an inch of frost on the lawn. Hey, 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 hey feel those. Huh? Feel those feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're like little blocks of ice. Yes. Oh. You know what that is, don't you? Trench foot. <laughs> Up to me knees in mud for three days. You poor soul. This country's got a lot to answer for. It certainly has, mate. I've always managed up to now, you know, mm -hmm. always managed to keep myself respect. Until now. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I do hate this job. I shall be tossing and turning all night. It's all right for you. What about me, eh? What about when the neighbours get to hear I shall be disgraced? No, you won't. What? It's no use. I can't do it. There comes a point when a man has to make a choice. I shall go back and hand in my cap. Oh, will you? Yes. Oh, thank you. I'm very, very no. grateful. I'm sorry I made that remark about the Gestapo. Oh, that's no, all right. No, 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 no. A very, very hurtful thing to say. Thank you very much, that's Mr... Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my word, we seem to have hit the jackpot. <laughs> Ready. Oh. oh, yes, yes. Very, very nice too, uh, Brenda, but afraid we can't go, love. Why not? No, it's poor Vienna. Oh, very <laughs> sick. Seemed all right to me. Yeah, I think it's all that scratch and he's lacerated himself. <laughs> yeah. I'm as disappointed as you, love, but I'm afraid there's nothing, you know, nothing for it. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose it's back to the baked beans. Yeah. yeah. Well, not necessarily. I mean, we could dine down here, and you, know, you wouldn't find more luxurious surroundings than these, would you? <laughs> Have a few drinks off the trolley, munch the odd grape. Yeah. Well, all right. I think I'll go and change first. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You slip into something comfortable. I'll put my smoking jacket on. <laughs> I think I handled that very nicely. <laughs> now, don't forget, Vienna, you're ill, so don't go dropping any dead mice in the lap, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
be my evening, miss. This is Charlie, my word. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, yes, but what do you want? What are you well, doing? Well, I must say, you're certainly living in style, don't you, eh? Soft lights, sweet music. Hey, he's even got grapes. Well, I'm <laughs> so yes. Just like the last days of ancient oh, Rome, Charlie. Would you leaving those alone? <laughs> What's the smell? Well, that's perfume, Charlie. I mean, we're in the presence of a trendsetter. <laughs> that's what I like about this job. You meet such interesting people. Oh, yes, yes, I hope you don't think I'm being curious, but what exactly is your job? You know, tell me, then scarf, because I've got yeah. company coming yeah. out. Do you think we should tell him, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you've got a good sense of humour, Mr Rigsby, oh. because there's a certain delicious irony about this. Yes. yes. We've come to take your furniture. Get what? <laughs> you can't do that. Ah, oh, yes, you can. I mean, you haven't paid what you owe, and there's an order to repossess. Oh, oh I see. Have a look. I mean, there's, 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 there's no need to be hasty, is there? I'm, I'm sure we could. Uh, I'm sure, have another grape. I'm sure we could. Uh, for you. I'm sure we could come to some uh, arrangement, you know. Oversight on my part. Let's see what we've, uh, we've got here. Yeah. How about that, then? Huh? Ah, yeah, thank ah. you very much, Mr. Rigsby. Right, well, thank I'm you. afraid this will scarcely pay my time and it certainly won't pay the craftsman at Evesham. I'll tell you what, we'll let you keep the promotional ass train. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. <laughs> you, you mean you're going to take all this? Then you can't take this away now. Uh, oh, yes, we can. I'm afraid you haven't got a leg to stand on, which is rather unfortunate since we're going to take the chairs. You <laughs> <laughs> don't understand. You see, this is a rather special occasion for, for me. Look, I can see you, uh, men of the world. So, Mr. Flint, 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 yes. I can see uh, you met Charlie, isn't it? Charlie. Yes, lovely. <laughs> I can see him in the words. So I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I'm, uh, I'm entertaining a young lady down here. Oh, <laughs> oh, do you hear that, Charlie? Yeah, yeah hence the soft lights and seductive music. Yes, exactly. you naughty boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are the other half lips like Mr. Flint? Uh, yes, yes. And then I suppose you were open to... Uh... Yeah, with a bit of luck, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, not on our springs you won't. <laughs> Thank you. Sadist, that's what you are. Oh, no, 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 if you don't mind, Mr. Rigsby, Charlie doesn't like that sort of talk. We're only doing our job. <laughs> now, drinks, Charlie, Charlie. Yes, no, I can't well, afford to buy one of these. I mean, I have to move the sofa, get down on my hands and knees and fish around in the sidewalk. Yes, but what, Lamp, what, what am I going to do when she comes down? I mean, she's expecting a night of unbridled luxury, not a roll on the liner. <laughs> you have all my sympathy, Mr. Rigsby. We'll be as discreet as we can. She won't even know we're here. She'll have a bloody good idea when the furniture starts disappearing, <laughs> won't she? No, what, what did I do wrong, eh? All I wanted to do was live now, pay later. Chair. My God, this chair, chair. There was not just a minute. That belongs to me. <laughs> there was snarly not in the show. Oh, yes, I was reflating the economy, getting the wheels of industry moving again. Where has it got me, eh? I shall be an object of contempt. Yes, you will. It doesn't bear thinking about it. Hey, look, look. <laughs> what, what if I was to get some uh, some money? I mean, I do have friends in the house, you know. I mean. Oh, well, that's different. I mean, after all, we're not vindictive men, Mr. Risby. I'll tell you what we'll do. Yes. We'll go outside and have a smoke, and we'll come back in five minutes. If there's nothing to him, we'll start. Oh, right. I'm very grateful, Mr. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We can handle things with tact and diplomacy. Oh, yeah. oh and uh, don't try locking the door, because we'll only have to kick the panels in. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, don't worry. I mean, if the worst comes to worst, she'll never notice it. You know, we removed a table last week. They didn't even know we'd been. Oh, good. And they were eating off it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all stand, Charlie. <laughs> Philip, Philip, can you lend me some money quickly? Oh, yes. And what's it for this time? Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me, Anna. Your grey-haired old mammy needs an operation, and oh. there's only one surgeon who can perform it, and he lives in Switzerland. No, no, don't be funny. I'm serious. <laughs> all right, come on. What is it this time? They're taking me furniture away. Oh, Rigsby, you can do better than that. No, no, it's true, honestly. They'll be standing it on the pavement any minute. Look, you know how I value my good name. You don't want to see me humiliated, do you? Listen, Rigsby, I know why you want that money. You're taking Brenda out. No, it isn't. It's... it's... Brenda? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, Brenda, there you are. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, look, look. Um, I, I, I've, uh, I've been thinking, Brenda, perhaps we ought to go out after all. What about the cat? Uh, oh, marvellous recovery. Yes, he's chasing the dog all round the garden. <laughs> well, I do wish you'd make up your mind. First you want to go out and then you want to stop in and now we're going out again. Uh, do you not, not mind if I catch my breath, do you? Uh, no, no, of course not. No, we can, we can go out. Why don't you have a drink here? Before we, before we dash off. We oh, here's a sherry will really assault your taste Jeez. buds. <laughs> Where's the coffee table? Oh, they started. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> 
I'll oh, no, probably put it round the back. Come on, drink up, and we can uh, we can go out for a bit of a bit of a walk up up, up, up by, by the um, up, up by, by, by the canal. Canal? Uh, yes, or perhaps down by the by the bypass. The by the by, by bypass. Yes. There's an accident there this this, uh, this time of the night. Yes. Is it got dark in here? I don't think so. No. I think the nights are drawn in now. You know. <laughs> I thought you'd like a good walk, you know. Ah, I see. You mean it's cheap. No, no, you know what they say, that the best things in, in life, life are free. Oh, that's what you think. No, I just thought you'd like a trolley while, um, uh, <laughs> while, you, while you're, you know, such a lovely evening out. And, uh, oh, yeah. Just... What would you like to do? Perhaps you'd like to see them... <laughs> the uh, probably halfway to halfway down the down the, st the street by now. Anyway, we can we, we, we can uh, oh there's Mr. Flint and Charlie taking an inventory. Uh, yes, they're usually drop by this. Uh, they're not, you know. Yes. They're taking your what's yes, away. Perfectly in order. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me, Miss. Yes. Oh, I've had enough of this. First you want to go out, then you want to stop him now. They're taking your furniture you're, you're away. The last of the big spenders. Well, I'll be lucky to get a bag of crisps. So, what, what you doing, I've had a very difficult. Oh, yeah. I hope it's nothing we said, Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> Glasses, Charlie. What's he doing down there? I've been sick, stop worrying. You know what's like? It's probably got soft lights, seductive music. Be like a spider's web. Brenda doesn't know, she needs protection. Brenda can look after herself. There you go again. Well, you don't think he's having his evil way with her? Why not? It's the only way he knows. Brenda didn't realise. <laughs> Alan, why don't you face facts? She realises. She's been around. Riggs has been up here twice to borrow money. She's a gold digger. No, she isn't. Alan, be guided by me. I have this radar where women are concerned. Oh, hello, Brenda. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, I'm fed up. You two coming across the road for a drink, then? Oh, uh, well, well I'd, I'd like to, Brenda, but I'm broke. Oh, that's all right. I'll treat you. After all, it's only money. <laughs> what about that, Philip? <laughs> I've got a much better idea. I'll buy you two both a drink. Oh. It's the least I can do. Hey, what about Riggs? I don't think he'll be coming. There's two blokes taking his furniture away. <laughs> what? And I didn't believe him. I wouldn't have minded if he hadn't tried to be so flash. I can't stand that. I'll go get my coat. Oh, I could just sink a pint. <laughs> do you hear that? She could just sink a pint. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Uh, I'll go first. Your radar's not so good. They haven't left you much, have they? Yeah, they haven't done they? They haven't finished yet either, does this? Where are you up to, then? I'm um, going over to the pub for a drink with Brenda. She drinks pints. <laughs> could just go a pint. Got some broke. Oh, yeah. Suppose you, suppose you couldn't spring me 50p, could you, Alan? <laughs> well, you know what it's like, Rigsby. If I start lending you money, friendship gets straight Little out. Little rotter. <laughs> hey, let me give you a word of advice. Neither a borrower nor oh, a Oh, very <laughs> funny. Yes, but me, I'm on me B-men's, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, you're not that broke. Yeah, look. There's a couple of 50p's in here. Oh, but you think I'm going to drop it out there, mate. You've got, you've, you've got a, it does sound like a 50, doesn't it? <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 ah, Alan! <laughs> Three rupees, marvellous. <laughs> Perhaps the craftsman of Eastman left something down here. Yeah, hey, Brixby, look here! What? What is it? Ow! Oh, 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 Mr. Rigsby. Now, that's not very sports for Mike, is it? After all, positions I did that. Come on, let go. I'm trying to let go, you great pup. <laughs> oh, well. Nothing for him, Charlie. He'll have to come with us. Uh, is Rigsby coming? Hey. No, no, he's giving these two a hand. 